Friday, March 18th, 2022, and The View today only had three people at the table, one of whom wasn't even a scheduled co-host. She was just a guest. They were like, hey, sit at the end of the table for the whole show. <laughs> Sarah was off filming The Chase. Sunny had a day off. Uh, Joy was still out because of her close contact COVID um, situation. And uh, new Megan Mara Fairy Fair Fowl or whatever her name is, um, actually had COVID, which I don't know if she came down with COVID like yesterday or this morning or whatever it was, you got that, like how that doesn't make Anna and Whoopi then also close contact is beyond me. But, you know, everybody's got a show to do. Um, and uh, that Real Housewife who filled in um, is kind of hilarious. <laughs> I kind of wish she'd be there all the time. Um, um, and I would like to see her and um, Sonny, who would probably uh, buddy up a lot of the time, but if they if they clash, that would be um, an interesting piece of television. Anyway, uh, so there's just a couple of things. Actually, there's only like one thing from the whole thing that I want to um, touch on, and that is... Um, uh, Katanji Jackson Brown uh, has finished all of her Senate interviews and and meeting with the uh, senators and the senators that are on the Judiciary Committee, and so the the full um, uh, you know Senate hearings for her confirmation start next week, um, and you know of course the Republicans are just saying um, hideously incorrect things about her. Um, because it's all racist dog whistle to their base. That's all that is. Um, and you know, I've had a, um, conversations with this um, with with friends, and there's you know there is a belief that Biden never should have said, "I will be appointing um, a black woman," because it just feeds that whole. Uh, you know, he's he's filling a spot not with the best candidate, but. Um, with a, uh, 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 a cultural pick, right? Um, and I completely understand that argument, that, um, that that's how it's going to be portrayed by the GOP. Um, and they're just gonna harp on it, which they have. But, you know, the last person to be nominated to the Supreme Court was a woman and the orange dotard was in charge. And he said specifically, it was replacing Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat. And he said, I will be nominating a woman. Nobody went ape shit and said, um, you know, that's identity politics. That's, you know, no, that, that was all fine. But as soon as a Democrat did it, it's a problem. Reagan said very specifically, he was going to, Appoint, uh, nominate a woman when he appointed Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman um, on the Supreme Court. Nobody screamed about that. Um, it's just when when Bork uh, didn't make it to the hearings, and probably rightfully so, um, that all of a sudden it became this theater about uh, the Supreme Court nominees. And it's all part of the whole GOP theater anyway. Everything the Democrats do is bad. Um, tearing the country apart. I saw a thing on Twitter, some Illinois representative, um, GOP representative woman said that the, um, the Democratic party is filled with um, communists out to destroy the country. And her job is not to compromise or negotiate with them, but to destroy that. And I feel like, I'm sorry, not destroy, defeat. It's a big difference in a word, um, but to defeat them. And I, it's just, you know, my reply was, you know, if you honestly believe this, then you're a moron. I just don't get that. Um, I don't think she knows what a communist is. <laughs> Um, I don't think most of the people that follow all of this 
the Democrats are evil uh, nonsense actually know what they're talking about or could back it up with any kind of um, fact or citation um, or any policy stance. Um, so all of this bullshit about um, Biden shouldn't say that he was going to pick a black woman. Um, it just feeds into their crap. I do get that probably it would be better for the nominee for him not to have said I was going to pick a black woman and then just go ahead and pick a black woman. Um, but all that was going to do was just delay the inevitable. They're going to pick on her because he said it in the um, in the campaign. And the thing is, you have to say that stuff in the campaign, right? You have to let people know what your intentions are, what, um, you know, that you, you want to create an inclusive um, judiciary. He has had the most diverse um, uh, judicial picks uh, through the court system in general in any of any presidency. So that right there is a great um, building block, right? Because now you're putting people on the bench that can work up um, at more, uh, a diverse group of justices that can build their way um, through the justice system. Um, it, it's the slow roll to justice reform, but it's, a hundred percent necessary, um, and you know, unfortunately, what we need to happen real quick is for some on the other side, on the Supreme Court, to you know, take leave of their position. Um, I don't know what happened to the task force that Biden had appointed or said he was going to appoint at the beginning of his presidency to give him guidance about what to do about the Supreme Court. Um, Cause there was supposed to be a group that did the studies and within like six months say, this is what we suggest for the court, which I, I think ultimately was going to lead to, there should be more justices on the court. And there were supposed to be an independent panel that were going to, to do that. But apparently that all got disbanded and I, and I don't know why, um, because we should have more justices on the court. Um, and probably uh, term limits on it. Um, you know, you could do an 18 year cycle um, and rotate people out. I think 18 years is plenty of time uh, to be on the Supreme Court. Um, and I think that we should have term limits on uh, representatives and senators, but they'll never vote themselves uh, limits. So, that's just, you know, my little pipe dream. But that's where we are on a Friday. Um, a limited view uh, panel and, um, you know, more racist dog whistles from people like Josh Hawley, who helped organize, lead, and incite a terrorist attack on the Capitol. So, GOP.